Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon, and welcome back for more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. It feels so long since I've said something like that. Unfortunately, with these videos are no longer going to be starting off with one annotation graphic because the annotations kind of don't exist anymore, but that's beside the point. Last time, we began up our re-adventure through this wonderful cult classic. And, yeah, we kind of just did some exploratory stuff around uh, Bikini Bottom, Spongebob's house, Squidward's house, Patrick's house. Got some stuff, got some golden spatulas, some lost socks and everything. Let's head to Jellyfish Fields. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. <laughs> Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j jellyfish Well, I guess you're <laughs> off the scale, Spork Mountain, and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. <laughs> I, f I love that cutscene. If there's anything I do remember from that game, it's that that cutscene is probably one of my favorites in the entire game, just on a comedic level alone. And I'm not usually one who gets so much of, like, Squidward- Like, I know Squidward's kind of become, like, the butt of the jokes in, like, later seasons of the- uh, A character that they just love to torture over and over for, like, no real reason, but- That cutscene just <laughs> amuses me for some reason. I can't really explain why, but- yeah. I gotta say that opening cutscene was a little bit strange with all the poppin'. I gotta honestly say it's... Also the... I, I don't know if it's just the new animations kind of messing with me a little bit, but it is kind of surprising seeing all the... The boxes feel a little bit... You can't jellyfish today. Slow I'm the breaking this, if that makes any sense. It's like... A little... I feel like a new sponge. Like... I don't know how I'd really describe it. The boxes feel a little bit different in this version, to say the least. Um... So yeah, Jellyfish Field's pretty standard first level, all things considered. We have some things here. That cardboard box I opened up, whenever I find another cardboard box, which I think is near the end of this first area, we'll be able to jump between those two areas to almost kind of fast travel, which is even more ridiculous when you consider the fact that this game already has a fast travel system. Yeah. Um, I didn't really mention it, but on the pause screen, if you want, you can just travel anywhere where there's a spatula or a mission that you've already kind of, like, gone to already or started, so... This game is really, really convenient. That's something I really do like about this game, that very few other platformers really have now that I think about it. I can't really think of too many other 3D platformers that have some sort of, like, super convenient fast travel like that. Um, this clam here, we need to pay 125 to rebuild the bridge there. 125 shiny objects, I mean. Not a huge, huge deal, but something we're gonna need to do. This level, I don't think it's in this first area, and probably not even somewhere where we'll, where we'll get to in this video, but there is a spot in this video, or in this level where it's really easy to grind shiny objects. This honestly isn't even a bad spot right here, but... Um, yeah, if you head down this way, there Another is a lost the sock there. Up. 
um, I think the pacing of this level, this game, let's play is gonna be similar to my original one. Not, maybe not like totally, totally, but I think in general, especially these first couple videos, I'll probably cover about the same amount of like length or content as my original let's play. I think the first video went longer than the first video of the original, but just because there's so much to kind of go over and all those like opening cutscenes and everything. Um, so yeah. First area of jellyfish feels pretty self-explanatory here, all things considered. Um, that's just out there. It's kind of funny, like, when looking at the game, like, the draw distance is a little bit weird, like, in motion, but or in, like, cutscenes and stuff, but honestly, in-game, it doesn't really seem that bad, honestly, I gotta say. Like, it's not, like, the greatest thing in the world, but, like, it's functional. And honestly, I think that's probably what more people look for in a game like this. I've heard this game's gotten weirdly mixed reception. Like, the fans really love it, but the critics don't, which goes to say about this series in general, honestly. Um, I think there's a switch around this area. Is there not? I see it now. I see it. Wasn't really looking too far over this way. God. Uh, maybe if I didn't spin, I probably would have been able to. Yeah, I could grab that. I think. I think I'm used to the original game where spinning was just kind of more useful. It was something I was kind of just more used to doing from the original. But that's fine. That's fine. Considering spinning's on the Y button in this game and jumping's on A, it's. Don't agree with that control Boy, scheme. Yeah, it seems like it seems like you bad. drop faster using mid-air spins than before. Got one of these purple shiny objects, which is always nice. Those are worth like 50, I think. So you see what I mean when I say shiny objects really are not a big deal at all. It's just something nice to keep in track of. It is actually kind of interesting thinking like thinking I'm playing this game again on YouTube like all, roughly seven years after my original Let's Play because it was pretty near this time seven years ago when I began this Let's Play. Um, a little bit... Hey Gary, like, what's shaking? Like, oh. Meow, meow. <laughs> wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. <laughs> I don't know if any of the voice lines are different it in terms of Spongebob, like, that cutscene where he was talking about being bald, like, Scooter being bald, like, that sounds very much like the original almost did. I don't believe I want to go that way. Yeah, King Jellyfish there. Um, there is a thing over this way. Just gotta... Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Just got some of those. Pretty easy stuff to get down that way. Um, but yeah, the the stuff where like the Squidward's bald comments and stuff, that sounded kinda like it was in the original, but obviously the animations and stuff are a lot more refined, which is obviously nice to see on newer hardware, but yeah. Now then. Oh, <laughs> Be a fish! Be a fish! <laughs> Alright, I believe these guys are called... Ham Hams, I think? I don't remember what these robots are called, but basically they're a slightly more aggressive robot that'll try to hit you with a giant ham. And... Be a fish! <laughs> be a fish! Uh... <laughs> I love opening it's nearly seven years later, and I'm still not getting tired of that meme there. Yeah, the bigger robots, not really any more tougher or annoying, really, just than the old ones. They size. still die in one hit, so I think they might just be slightly faster, but they're still not really that bad. Oh, okay, didn't want to do that.
Oh, does he really have to load that every time I... Oh. Oh, that's rotten. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Um, that load screen is gonna get obnoxious to see really fast here. I don't know if playing this game off a digital download would fix that. I'd probably not, but, like... Maybe. I am playing this on a physical cart of the game. Um, which is why this Let's Play is actually coming to you a couple days late, because, uh... Yeah, my pre-order of this game kind of got lost in transit. There is a thing right here, but we do not have the bubble bowling move in order to play this game, so... We're gonna need to come back for that later, but... That's honestly okay. This game's really, really lenient with fast travel, so... Backtracking's usually never too much of an issue. But, yeah, um, my copy of this game got lost in, uh, not, like, mail to my house, but, like, mail to the store. Like, the store didn't receive its shipment on time, so, uh, yeah, a lot of people were playing this game when I still didn't have... Oh, come on! Ugh, <sighs> load screen. On another similar topic, I don't know if the music is redone or remixed in any way. I don't think it is. This sounds... Because, in my... This is, like, probably the most, like... I don't want to say the most memorable song in this game, but, like, it's probably one of them. And, um... I used this song in the Let's Play trailer I did a couple days ago. So... Or at the time of, like, recording this, and... I don't think it sounds very different. I remember the song pretty well from the original game, so... Yeah... I usually like areas like this where there's a lot of boxes here. And... Okay, I have something kind of funny to bring up here, and this is so stupid that this topic is relevant here again. Um... I don't want to compare stuff to my original Let's Play very often, because I want to make this feel like its own thing, but... I want to insert this one clip from my original Let's Play of this game, because, uh... I want to point out something here. Not gonna lie, I... The only person I know who's getting an Xbox One is just a stubborn Microsoft fanboy. Nobody I know is getting an Xbox One, and... Um... Pretty much everyone I know is planning on getting a, uh... PlayStation 4, including myself at some point. I'm probably gonna pick up a PS4 now. Um, yeah. Guess who still does not have a PS4? And guess what? Or an Xbox One for that matter. And guess what new systems are coming out? The PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that! <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh my god. <laughs> that was me accidentally hitting the B button again because I'm used to thinking that would be the button for what I need. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, I just find it funny how, like, I'm recording this right near the launch of another console generation again. And in the original time, I said that I wasn't gonna get an Xbox One, and then... I want to point out one thing. This was when Xbox One was first announced. If anyone doesn't remember those days, uh, that that press conference was rough. Microsoft really, really stumbled during that one when they said things like, "I'm talking like the always on DRM policies and like just the stuff that no one wanted out of the Xbox One." So, yeah, they kind of they definitely retracted themselves, but like they really almost shot themselves in the foot with that one. So, yeah, that's why I was initially more excited for the PS4, but then I just still never ended up getting a PS4. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. I kind of don't like that SpongeBob says that quote all the time. Not that it's, like, bad or anything, but it's also, like, he just says it a lot when he never said it at all in the original, or at least didn't say it after every sock, so, yeah. But, yeah. Um, yes, I got some time still. We can continue on here. Got to destroy this guy here and get out of the way because I think that explosion does do damage. And through this way, we have our golden spatula. 
All right, let's head to the Jellyfish Caves area. Wow, Mermaid Man, I have all your comics and toys and mail. Hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage on... Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I <laughs> come, Patrick! Um, yeah. One thing I will say, I knew going into this game that uh, Mermaid's Man, Mermaid Man's original voice actor passed away a couple years ago. So, um... I, love I had a feeling presents. like if there was any voice actors that I knew wouldn't be reprising any sort of roles, it would definitely have been his. Um, which I'm not really surprised by. I knew just simply Another going into it that that wasn't really going to happen in any way. There is a that lost a sock up here. That is, I should do it again sometime. that is an obnoxious lost sock to get sometimes. <laughs> um, Let's try this one again here. I know how this one's gotten, it's just kind of on the weird side to get here, but, um, hey, there we you. go. Patrick needs to do laundry. Alright, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure basically all the main voice actors except Clancy Brown are in this game, I, I think that was the same way with the original as well, maybe some of the side characters might not have been, but... I know it wasn't Clancy Brown as Mr. Krabs. Yep, robots are heavily guarding these switches here, and they're guarding the way to Patrick. So, I say let's save the guy. God, we're already up to 2,200, essentially, shiny objects there. These damage, right? Fresh, yeah. Like a spring breeze. That explosion doesn't really have the knockback that it had from the original, and I'm Hell thankful for that, because I've hated, I've always hated the knockback explosion from these things. But that's fine by me. Very, very fine by me. You've just met the Spongenator. Now, which is on YouTube. I should probably disable like my friend list online notifications in the future, but oh well, leave them on. I'm surprised that's the first one that's showing up here, but yeah. I know some people like to keep them on for like their Switch Let's Plays. Honestly, I haven't done a Let's Play on the Switch, like a full, full Switch Let's Play, since the Switch basically first came out, because that was when me, Morgan, and Darren did Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I think that was the only like full which game we covered, or I covered on, like, the channel. So yeah, we just got some simple button pushes there, not anything too dramatic there. And for doing all that... Hey, SpongeBob. Hey, buddy. Whew, thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. That sounds good, but it sounds like something we're gonna do in the next video. So with Patrick... <laughs> That's going to be a good spot to call this a video. Next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, we're going to continue on through the Jellyfish Caves area. Go, actually go through the caves area. And explore from there. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.